10th standard from C International School. Deoxyribonucleic acid is a molecule that is made up of two polynucleotide chain that coils around each other to make up a double helical structure. Most of you may be thinking, what am I telling about? I am telling about the blueprint of life. In short, the DNA. The DNA carries the genetic information which is needed for development, growth and uh, functioning of all living organisms as well as many viruses. It is one of the four ma major macromolecules that is required for any known living form to sustain. A single strand of DNA is made up of uh, repeating, uh, repeating nucleotides. That means it is a group of phosphate, sugar and nitrogenous bases. There are four nitrogenous bases. Adenine, cytosine, guanine and thymine. Adenine always groups with thymine and cytosine always groups with guanine. So what do you think? Can we extract the DNA from a living cell? Most of you may be thinking no we can't. But actually the fact is that scientists have already done it but in a highly expensive way. Come on, let me show you how to do it at home. For this extraction, we can take any living cell from either any fruit or vegetable. Better to take a soft fruit like kiwi, strawberry, banana. Here I have taken a kiwi and next we need 100 ml of water, 5 ml of dishwashing liquid, 2 grams of salt, a tea strainer, you can even use a coffee filter and the main thing the isopropyl alcohol that should be ice chilled or ethanol or methylated spirit. So first we should dice the kiwi into smaller pieces. Here I have already diced it into smaller pieces as you can see here. So next step is that we should mash it. So now I have mashed it here. So the next we should do is that we should take 2 grams of salt and add it with water 100 ml of water and stir it and then we should add the dishwashing liquid and then be careful that it should not get more foamy Then stir it well until the salt that you had put in earlier gets dissolved. Next we have to take the solution and add it into the mash of the kiwi. Don't add too much just let it be as uh, less as possible but don't take too less then uh, you cannot break the cells in it so then mash it a bit again now I have mixed and mashed it properly so the salt added weakens the cell membrane of the cell then the dishwashing liquid that you have added breaks the remaining cell membrane and also breaks the nuclear membrane which free out the DNA in it. So next what you have to do is that we have to take the kiwi mix and strain it in an another glass. get the 
all the liquid that you can So this is a liquid from which you are going to get your DNA. So next what we have to do is that slowly take the isopropyl alcohol here. You can use anything else as I mentioned earlier. And you have to slowly add it to the solution. That much should be enough. Then you have to wait for around 1 to 2 hours to see the DNA fully. But already now you can see the somewhat um, foggy layer in the middle of the kiwi solution and the alcohol. So now let's wait for 1 to 2 hours. One hour later. After some time, you can see the blueprint of life floating in the solution. So the alcohol added in it extracts the DNA from the kiwi. And it uh, floats very clearly as you can see here. So this is DNA of the kiwi. The detailed structure of this DNA can be observed through a microscope and it will look like this. Hope you all enjoyed this and you will also try this at home. Thank you.